Hey everybody, Jack from Barbecue Land here. It's nearly Christmas and what better way to celebrate than cooking your turkey on your barbecue. So today we're gonna to cook this amazing coppers, very, very special turkey on our Kamado Joe Classic rotisserie. For a limited time, we're offering a free five kilogram turkey with certain barbecue bundles delivered to you on the 22nd of December from Coppers Turkey, one very similar to this. So let me show you how we're gonna prepare this amazing turkey. We're gonna brine this turkey with the Sweetwater Spice Company's Turkey Bath Brine Concentrate. Say that after a few sherries at Christmas. Basically, we're gonna follow the instructions on the bottle, which is very, very simple. You add the bottle of the brine mixture to a food safe container. This is a 10 litre food safe container. Add your turkey, a gallon of water, and half a cup of salt, and let it sit overnight. It's really that simple. So let's get on. So as I mentioned, this is a really, really simple process. We're just gonna place our turkey in our brine bucket. Then we're going to add our Sweetwater Spice Company's Turkey Bath Brine Concentrate Classic Holiday Recipe. Apple, rosemary and sage. It's going to be epic. Oh, it smells lovely. So we're going to... Put a little bit of water in the bottle. Give it a shake. Get the rest of them spices out. And then we're gonna add half a cup of Cornish sea salt. This is a smoked sea salt, so it's gonna impart loads of flavors into our turkey. So half a cup of that. And now three gallons of water. And now we're gonna add a gallon of water, which is roughly three and a half liters. So our turkey is now nearly fully submerged, but don't worry if it's not all the way in. As this takes on the water, it will sink to the bottom. So we're gonna put our lid on. and it's ready for the fridge. Hey everybody, we're back day two now. So we brined our turkey overnight, it sat in the fridge for around 14, 15 hours. The bottle actually advises to brine for half an hour, 30 minutes per pound. So 500 grams, half an hour, this is a seven kilo turkey, so spot on. 14 hours, someone check the maths, I'm pretty sure it's right, but we've taken it out, taken out the brine, we've let it drain so there's no excess moisture inside the bird because that will make the cooking process a little bit longer and potentially you won't get crispy skin. So now all that's left to do is season it with our meat tinsel from Angus and Oink, a really nice festive rub, loads of flavours in there you associate with Christmas, ginger, allspice, orange, Jamaican powder, so a little bit spicy, but really, really nice with white meat. So we'll give this a good old rub with this, and we're also gonna truss it. So when we put it on the rotisserie, we don't want the legs and the wings dangling about. So all we're gonna do is a couple of ties just to secure the bird. So nothing too complicated. I'm not gonna show you like some really complicated scout knot. It's literally a knot strong enough to hold the legs together and the wings together. That's simply it. So we just cut off a length of string. Just go around those legs and tie it. And then tie it again. As I said, nothing too complicated, just a normal Double knot. There we go. And just remove that excess string. And then the same with this. So a little bit longer length of string now. 
and we're going to go underneath and just tie a butcher's knot. So we go length of string, knot in the end of it, around, back round, make a loop, and then what you want to do is put your knotted piece through, drop it, and then use the length of the string to tighten it, like so. And then what you're going to do is just tie a little knot to secure it. Bosh. Done. I've done this before we seasoned the bird because I didn't want to have to handle it too much, plus put the rub on and we're going to try and tie it. It's going to remove all that rub. So just get rid of the last little bits of string that we touched. And now a simple case of hitting it with our rub. While I do this, let's talk about the fire. So we've got the Kamado Joe rotisserie on today, the Joe Tisserie, and we've put a fire to the back of the grill. So in a minute, I'll show you. We've just got a, big, a few big bits of charcoal. We've lit a fire underneath it. That's slowly gonna come up to temperature. And then we're gonna put the bird on. The fire should be about 150 to 160 degrees Celsius. So here we go. Let's just give our bird a good old season with this. It's got a lovely Christmassy smell to this, lovely ginger notes, lovely. And because we're gonna put this on a rotisserie, don't forget the bottom. Looks like I've used a lot, but it's quite fine, this powder, this rub, so uh, not actually use that much. And there we have it, our bird ready for the rotisserie. So it's just a case now of skewering it so this end actually goes into the divot of the jotisserie and the square end goes in the motor so let's skewer this up now so we go through the cavity of the bird out the other side and then we use our rotisserie spikes to fix the bird in place. Okay, so our bird is now on the jotisserie. We're just gonna give it a test spin to make sure it goes round without hitting anything. There we go. It's looking pretty good. And you can see here where we've trussed the wings up makes it more aerodynamic. <laughs> so our turkey's spinning away nicely now on the Jotisserie. Don't forget to check out the website. I'll put the links in the description below. When you buy certain grills from Barbecue Land, you will receive a free turkey delivered to you on the 22nd of December, ready for Christmas. Coppers, very special turkeys, they're amazing great way to celebrate Christmas and doing the turkey on the barbecue frees up your oven for all your other little bits and pieces that you normally can't fit in because the turkey is so massive so get your turkey on your barbecue this year it's such a pleasure to do it outside trust me our turkey's done it's reached 70 degrees celsius so we're going to take it off now let it rest for about an hour in a tray covered in a little bit of foil and then we're going to carve it I mean, look at that. That's pretty special. It 
So we've let our turkey rest now for about an hour under foil indoors. So it should be okay now to slice into it because you don't want to lose any of that nice juices we've retained during the rotisserie process is keep on spinning it all the juice is going to distribute around the bird keeping it succulent and moist so we've let it rest so we're going to take the foil off Whoa. look at that let's, let's get this beast onto the cutting board still quite warm to touch actually Look at that. Just to recap, we brined this turkey overnight using our pre-made brine. Then we kept it in the fridge for 14 hours, took it off, seasoned it with meat tinsel by Angus and Oink. Then we put it on the Kamado Joe rotisserie for a roughly two and a bit hours until it reached 70 degrees Celsius. Then we let it rest under foil inside. So let's see how we've done. We're gonna take the truss in off of our bird Now all that's left to do is cut into it and see how we've done. So let's cut a slice off. Oh, wow. Let's give this a try. I mean, that is so moist. Wow, that's pretty special. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Head over to barbecueland.co.uk to check out the deals we've got on the Traegers and the Kamado Joes where you actually get one of these turkeys for free delivered to you on the 22nd of December. I'm Jack, thanks for joining us and I'll see you again soon.